Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on creating a Blu-ray disc for your high-definition video. Now, this is really going to be an introduction to the whole process of creating Blu-ray discs, because I'm going to show you three different ways that we can do it. One inside Final Cut, one using Roxio Toast, and one using Adobe Encore. And all of these programs have got lots more details that we can get into in future webinars. So the purpose today is just to show you a way that you can start to create high-definition video for your projects. My goals for this session are to take a high-definition project from Final Cut Pro and create a simple Blu-ray disc. In this session, I'll illustrate how to use Share in Final Cut Pro 7, Roxio Toast version 10, and Adobe Encore, which is bundled in Adobe Production Premium. It's also bundled with Adobe Premiere Pro. A quick note, DVD Studio Pro cannot create Blu-ray discs. The HD DVD format indicated here, which is part of the inspector inside DVD Studio Pro, this format was created by Toshiba and pulled from the market almost three years ago. So if you're using DVD Studio Pro, you are by definition creating a standard definition DVD. To create a high def DVD, you have to use a program other than DVD Studio Pro. There's really two kinds of Blu-ray discs. There's the Blu-ray compatible AVC HD format and the Blu-ray disc format. The AVC HD format is burned using a standard DVD burner like the one you've got inside your Mac. It contains Blu-ray media but at a lower data rate. It stores only 20 to 30 minutes of HD media per disc because the maximum amount that it can hold is 4.3 gigabytes of data. However, even though it's recorded on a standard DVD burner using standard DVD media, it can only be played on a Blu-ray player. The Blu-ray disc format, in contrast, is burned using a Blu-ray disc burner, which you have to purchase separately because no Mac supports burning Blu-ray discs as you purchase them from Apple. It contains Blu-ray media at a high bitrate, which means higher quality images. It stores two to four hours of HD media per disc because each Blu-ray disc can hold between 25 and 50 gigabytes of data. Because the file sizes are so much bigger, the data rates are faster, we have better image quality than AVC HD. However, like AVC HD, it can only be played on a Blu-ray player. In order for us to do Blu-ray on a Macintosh, we need both hardware and software. You're going to need a Blu-ray disc burner and I was talking with Bruce Nazarian, who's the president of the IDMA, the International Digital Media Alliance, which is an organization specializing in optical media. I said, Bruce, what do you recommend for Blu-ray burners? And he says, Digistore, especially the USB version. You can get them at their website at digistore.com. There are other burners that are available. I'm not saying other burners are bad, but I am passing on a recommendation from somebody that pays attention to the hardware in this industry. Because the Macintosh itself cannot play back a Blu-ray disc on the computer, you also need to have some way of playing this Blu-ray disc back. Probably the most popular Blu-ray playback device is the Sony PlayStation 3. So although we can author Blu-ray discs on our Mac, and we can burn a variety of Blu-ray discs both in AVC HD format and Blu-ray format on our Mac, we really need some additional gear before we can say that we're Blu-ray ready. We also need software. Final Cut Pro 7 or Compressor 3.5 support the creation of AVC HD discs. Earlier version of Final Cut do not. Roxio Toast version 10 creates both AVC HD discs and Blu-ray discs depending upon what burner you use. And Adobe Encore, as I mentioned it's bundled with Adobe Premiere Pro, also allows us to author fully commercial grade Blu-ray discs in the same way that DVD Studio Pro allows us to author commercial grade standard def discs. Let's start first with Final Cut. The workflow for creating an AVC HD disc in Final Cut is to create an HD sequence, then export using File Share. Share is a new feature inside Final Cut Pro 7. Share is designed to output one movie or a group of clips, and the disc menus that it creates are templates which can be somewhat modified, but not extensively modified. We burn to an AVC HD disc using the built-in DVD burner on your Mac, and then we test the finished disc on a PlayStation 3. That's the workflow. The benefit to using Final Cut Share is that it's simple. However, it's limited in how many movies it outputs per disc, and it's especially limited to creating AVC HD discs only. So here's how it works. 